to get past that nine and seven record and back to where you were a couple of years ago? Uh, man, I mean, obviously we uh, fell short of expectations this last year. There's no getting around that. And um, losing Brandon and Todd, I mean, incredible football players. But um, on top of that, also just really you know, quality people that brought a lot to um, our team, brought a lot to our locker room outside of what they bring on the football field. So I'm um, going to miss those guys. But, um, you know, we've got incredible football players um, in, in each of those rooms. And, um, uh, you know, I, I can't wait until we can get back out in the field again and um, see what these guys can do with, with the ball in their hands. And, um, you know, there's, you know, you go back to the drawing board, I think, a little bit. you got to re your identity. And, um, you know, our, our expectations for ourselves haven't changed at all. You, you know, we're losing these guys, our expectations, our standards, we hold ourselves to. Um, that stuff remains the same. It's just about um, staying true to that, you know, grinding one day at a time, setting the foundation and, um, you know, by the time this, uh, you know, hopefully we get to get on the football field this year and, and play some ball. But, um, you know, our expectation is to go out there and um, be able to compete for, for championships. When you go, when you make a Super Bowl appearance, Cooper, and then you follow that up by missing the playoffs, particularly when you watch the San Francisco 49ers ascend and you look at Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks being where they are, how do you deal with things from an emotional perspective as a team, believing that maybe, just maybe, your window of opportunity may have disappeared because of you had it, and obviously y'all didn't grasp it. Yeah, well, there's definitely some um, some part of that. I mean, seeing the um, – our, our division was great this year. We had some really good uh, teams that we played against, and we put together some really good games against those guys, and we felt like we weren't far off. There were, you know, little plays, and, and – in football, that's how it goes. I mean, it's little plays here and there that make a difference. You saw just how close a lot of the games, particularly you talk about the 49ers, uh, how close so many of those games are. And it's, uh, it's one of those games where, you know, with football, one play can really change the outcome of uh, a game of a season even. And, um, you know, I think we were um, on the winning side of that sometimes in that, you know, that year in the Super that we got to the Super Bowl, and we weren't on that side of that last year. And, um, you know, it really comes down to the details of being on our P's and Q's and making sure that um, in those small things, you're doing everything right because those small details, details do make such a big difference. So for us, you know, we, there's a window of opportunity. We, we think we're right in this. We, we just have to, you know, clean up these little things, make sure we're on those details. Cooper, you're an excellent receiver. Everyone knows you're part of an excellent receiving core that just traded Brandon Cooks. Um, I know I've read where you've not wanted to comment on your contract negotiation, saying it's not a priority for you. But could you talk a little bit about what it means to you that the team is clearly committed to you and Robert Woods as receivers? Gurley is gone, as Stephen A. mentioned. Brandon Cooks just traded. That means the team, that the Rams are looking at you and Woods as, as you know, the guys they wanted to keep. What does that mean to you? I mean, it, it does, um, you know, every opportunity I get to be a part of the Rams organization, I absolutely love being a Ram, being able to, um, you know, put on that uniform, step on the field with those guys and, um, you know, very blessed. I think we have a great organization um, from top to bottom. But also I think it speaks to just the belief they have in Josh Reynolds and our room in general and you know, Coach Yarber to uh, make sure that, you know, whoever it is that steps out in that field, that we're going to be able to produce, we're going to be able to get things done. And, um, you know, that's the attitude we take in, in, our, in our room. You know, our expectation, you step into that receiver room, there's high expectations that you're going to be able to step on that field, be a dog, be able to um, make things work when nothing is set up for you. And, you know, when you don't have – the right leverage when you don't have the coverage that you want that you're going to be able to find a way to get open you're going to be able to find a way to win off the line and um you know be able to make plays and uh, having that expectation i think it really is um the organization saying we trust in this receiver room to be able to go out there and make plays